How are we the Fab Potion Girls? I'm Joni. And I'm Celine. So bread is not what it used to be, Celine. I know when my grandma had her bread, it's not what we eat today or buy off the shelves. No, absolutely. I mean, our great-grandparents or some of these artisan-type bakeries might still do it. And bread had just a couple of ingredients, a flour, some yeast, a little bit of salt, and some water. But nowadays, commercial bread that you buy off many of the shelves is far more than those ingredients. In fact, they don't. a lot of breads today don't have yeast anymore. I was fascinated when you told me that. And yeast is really important. It's good for the probiotics and those bacteria that live in our colon and there's many more chemicals including sugar that is added to bread so not only is bread void of all the good stuff a lot of breads don't contain enough magnesium not enough fiber but they've got all these added chemicals and sugars and salts so we have to consider how can we choose other alternatives to just having bread. Do you really want that stodgy white stuff constipating your stomach anyway? And what we know besides the impact on digestion is that it doesn't fill us up a lot of breads today, because they, they don't fill us, they don't have a high satiety index, they actually cause a rush in blood sugar. So sure, you may feel as if you have some energy, but that will last for like half an hour. And how many of us have maybe had a meal around bread and then been hungry an hour later? Mm. So you want to avoid that because your blood sugar will go up and then it'll drop because of the surge in insulin, leaving you hungry again. And if you're on this campaign, you're obviously aware of eating, maybe you want to lose a bit of weight. So managing your hunger and your appetite is really important. The same way we spoke about sugar, it should be zero tolerance. Don't think, well, I have one sandwich today and I'll try something else tomorrow. So watch the next videos on more ideas and how you can implement some, some other practical things around replacing bread and see how you feel. You may be pleasantly surprised that you actually can live without what you thought was a staple. If you'd like to hear more from us beyond the campaign, you're welcome to visit us at the energy, the resilient energy center .com.